in homage to the man I've got to learn under the last three years, we're going to go ahead and uh, skip opening statement and go right to questions. David? Coach, first, congratulations, obviously, but um, in the aftermath of this whirlwind for the past week, how satisfying is it to have this day to put a class together and get started moving ahead in 2023, even while you have bowl preparations going on? Yeah, I think uh, I think today's success, the class the class we put together, the number of guys in it who, you know, were committed uh, prior to the, the tragic news of Coach Leach's passing, and then still stayed and stayed committed and signed with us today. I think that uh, sends quite the statement about uh, the young men that we were recruiting, right? The, the families they come from. I think it says a whole heck of a lot about the entire program, the, the coaches who went on the road and got into the homes and spent time with them and, and reaffirmed all the reasons why those guys were, were committed to us in the first place. It says a lot about our locker room. You know, those guys develop relationships relationships with the young men on our team and obviously uh, nothing changed they know that's a, a constant in the locker room they want to be a be a part of this program because they relate they relate to the guys in the locker room they're Mississippi State kind of guys and so uh, <coughs> coaches coaches who recruited the recruiting staff who you know puts in a lot of long hard unrecognized hours they did a, a tremendous job and obviously we're enjoying the fruits of our labors today Paul Kind of along those lines, Coach, um, obviously so much uncertainty and, and, and these guys had a lot to think about in a short period of time. How beneficial was it for you to have guys like Chris Parson and Creed Whittemore and others in the class step up and, and say, hey, we're, we're going to stick together and, and honor Coach Leach being his last class? Yeah, I got that question a few times a day. And obviously, uh, you know, Chris on uh, social media, I know he's got some really, really good quotes in there, but uh, quite a few guys in the class did a tremendous job of uh, displaying their leadership, the kind of young men they are, their character, and um, and reaffirming to the rest of the class, hey, obviously, uh, you know, Coach Leach's passing was incredibly uh, tragic and unfortunate, and uh, it certainly created an opportunity there for for doubt to creep into people's mind or or for other teams to recruit against that. Um, and some guys stepped up and showed tremendous leadership, which obviously you want out of your quarterback. I think he was the first first uh, letter of intent we got in this morning. Um, so very excited about this class, the type of character they displayed, and look forward to working with them for working with them for years to come. Yeah. Obviously, everyone sees you know the home visits and things like that that coaches take. But there's you know a lot of people that work behind the scenes too with recruiting. I guess what did you maybe learn about this staff uh, and the people who help you guys out? You know, this past week dealing with I'm sure the emotions that came with everything along with you know kind of putting their head down and getting to work. Oh, it's the kind of people we have here at this university. Right? It's uh, it's what makes this a great place. Obviously, um, from the the culture, from the president on down, right, Dr. Keenum. Interim AD Bracky Brett, right? What's expected of everyone in this department? We're uh, we're in a results business, right? So even if unfortunate things happen, we still got we still got work to do, and we gotta we gotta get results. And so uh, that's the mentality that that exists here. It's what makes us such a tremendous institution and a tremendous place to work. And obviously, everyone everyone answered the call, and it showed up today.